Different park, different day, same vibe, still trying to do my thing, still figuring this whole crazy um, vlogging world out. Have some coffee with me this time. Just brought my uh, AeroPress with me out here. Just thought it was a freaking beautiful day. It actually started sprinkling a bit, little bit, but I'm not gonna let that bother me or get in my way. I won't pull out my new laptop though, no, no, no. But I'll chill with my coffee for a little bit, talk to the camera, kind of get some thoughts off of my chest and go from there. So, big things happening. Yesterday, released the new AM live sessions featuring Propaganda. It is uh, a live performance music video and I am so freaking happy, so proud of how it came out. More than anything, I'm really just honored that someone like Propaganda would be on Americana Mondays. It definitely speaks volumes. Um, to I guess what we're doing, but it also just kind of lets me know that like, I guess I'm on the right path, I hope I'm on the right path. I have a lot of respect for that man. I love everything that he's doing with his voice and with his presence and with his position. And so I really respect that. So to have somebody like that, who's making bold statements, who's making bold music and not freaking holding back, that I can dig, that I respect, and that I'm so honored and so happy to have on the website. Um, so yeah. Came out yesterday, I feel like we got a really good response. Um, of course, I always want the numbers to be higher, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I also thought I'd make a couple notes on um, kind of my role as a director and as an interviewer. Um, whenever I'm doing photo shoots for my commercial clients, I do this thing afterwards um, by myself. Um, but you know, I'll either journal, I used to hand journal, but now I journal the never note. I'll journal kind of either after the shoot to the next morning, my thoughts on how the shoot went. Could I have done anything better? Could I have directed the subjects better? Could I have lit it differently? Did I spend enough time? Was I patient enough? Did I move too fast? And yes, as a photographer, I feel very competent. It's something I've done forever. It's something I've done for so freaking long. So I feel very comfortable on set with all that stress and all that pressure because it's who I am, it's what I do, it's what I know. Um, being an interviewer, as I've started to become more for Americana Mondays, that's a whole different world, and that is a world that I am a 100% amateur at, and I've realized it, unfortunately. And yes, I've been able to get some good questions in and get some good, some great responses from some people, but I think that also is more a testament to their ability to speak of themselves and speak of their lives, and have also have been in m multiple interviews and know how to kind of help direct the interview um, if the interviewer sucks. So. That's something I really need to work on. Unfortunately, the only way to work on that is to continue to interview people, but I also think that I want to maybe start to try and pay attention to people that I respect and kind of watch some more interviews. It's almost like photo shoots. I watch photo shoots, I watch behind the scenes of photo shoots. If I really want to better myself as an interviewer for Americana Mondays, which I do see that becoming more of a kind of um, part of Americana Mondays as it has been, instead of just photos, it's definitely going more in depth and that's where I want it to go. I don't want it to be just a photo site or else I might as well just freaking stay on Instagram and not even waste my time with the website. But I definitely see bigger things for Americana Monday. So that's something where I can definitely 100% say I have a lot of work to do. I'm definitely an amateur, I guess the best way to say it. I definitely need to learn how to listen more. And also one thing I need to learn how to do more is to freaking shut up, dude. Um, I definitely talked too much in the interviews, possibly talked too much about myself, which is stupid. I'm not there to interview myself, I'm in there to interview them. I, I can talk about myself here when I'm by myself with a camera. I may look a little crazy, but that's okay. This is what a freaking vlog is. And I have heard from someplace, I don't remember where, but some of the best interviews are when you just listen. I've got a lot to learn on that area. I have a lot to learn with this, this whole new vlogging thing. Um, I'm really loving it though, and I think it's interesting because YouTube is definitely a place where I feel like I can find it there's a helicopter. Please go away, helicopter. I'm trying to vlog, I'm trying to talk. I'll take a cup of co sip of coffee and look pensive for a moment and hopefully by that time the helicopter will be gone. Pensive sip of coffee. It's working. He's gone. All right, peace, I'm out. Hopefully uh, you guys are having a good day. Again, if you feel free, please subscribe. We'd love to be able to build up this channel, build up this community so that people can see a lot of what's going on in the coffee community. It's about to get freaking loud. People behind me, they're gonna look at me crazy. I don't care. Peace.